If you ever stopped for DUI, the important question is how much alcohol is in your body? How much alcohol is in your blood system? It's called BAC or blood alcohol content. So how does alcohol get around your body? Now, in an earlier blog, I talked about absorption, and that's the way that alcohol gets into your blood system. You consume alcohol, so you take a drink of something, uh, beer, or wine, uh, some kind of liquor, into your mouth, goes through your esophagus, into your stomach. About 20% of the alcohol is going to go through your stomach lining directly into your blood. Alcohol does not need to be broken down into all the different chemicals, etc. Uh, like your food, you eat a good piece of mama's cornbread or a piece of turkey and stuffing over Thanksgiving. It's got to be broken down and, and digested. Alcohol can quickly go directly into your blood system. For example, 20% of the alcohol that's going to be absorbed into your blood system will go through your stomach wall. Okay, There is, at the bottom of your stomach, there's something called the pylorus valve. The pylorus valve lets food from your stomach to your intestines. You're thinking, wow, Jeff, if I wanted Bill Nye the science guy or something like that, I would have signed up for him. I wanted a lawyer. Well, you know, law and science can be very critical because how much blood alcohol you have can depend on how much your body has absorbed. Remember, 20% will go from your stomach wall directly to your bloodstream. 80% will go through your intestinal walls. Your body does not need to break down alcohol to use it, uh, so it will be absorbed. Your body, your intestines will allow it to be absorbed through the intestines into your blood system. Now, how does it get around after that? Well, body, uh, the body absorbs alcohol through the, through the stomach and through the intestines, and then alcohol is soluble in water. Now, your different systems, different organs have more water than other organs. Your muscle tissue has a degree of water. So some of the alcohol carried through your blood will be deposited in your, in your muscle tissue. Some of the alcohol will be carried and deposited into your fat tissue. Now, your fat tissue does not contain much uh, water, and so fat will not absorb much water. Well, I can take more alcohol because I'm a bigger guy. That may or may not relate to anything. Your brain requires a lot of water and will need, will have a lot of water. A lot of the alcohol will be absorbed or will go and be deposited in the brain. Shockeroo. That's how you get intoxicated. That's how you get feeling euphoric, happy. That's how the, you know, the, the drunker I get, the prettier you look. That's how that occurs. So how does alcohol get absorbed? Well, through the blood system, I mean, through the stomach wall, through the intestines, and by water in your body. I'm Jeff Goldtrap. I hope I've given you a little bit of information and knowledge today. Have a great day.